Okay, let's see how this intro is gonna go. Hi everyone, my name is Numlai, and I'm a half elf. And today I will be cooking a very special dish for my halfling friend, Cormac. I will be attempting to cook this halfling recipe, Heartland's Rose Apple and Blackberry Pie. I may need to use some magic to help me out. Almost forgot, this recipe is from Heroes Feast, the official D&D cookbook. Ah! Before we get started, I'm gonna need some tea. Oh, who is this you ask? This is my pet cave rat rabbit to lead. I had no animal handling and was still able to tame him. I love him so much. Time to make some tea. On Halloween, I had a very strange dream that me, as a fourth level sorcerer, could actually do fireball. I don't know how that's possible, but it happened. And I killed everyone in my group. But it was a dream, so that's not real, right? Anyway, that gave me the idea to make delayed blast fireball tea to put in my teacup. Even though it's not really tea, but it's in a teacup. First thing you have to do to make blasted or delayed blasted fireball tea is you have to mix some bourbon with chili flakes and cinnamon sticks for five days and shake it every day. I have been doing that for the past five days. If you're wondering about my ear, don't worry. I was able to use magic to put it back on. And with the help of my wonderful boyfriend, introduce yourself to everyone. Hi, everybody. I'm isn't he the sweetest? The next thing you're gonna need to make this tea is some hot water, of course, and brown sugar. Along with your mixture that you made five days ago. Now we just have to wait for that mixture to cool. I guess I better start Cormac's pie. He was so nice the other day, it made us all breakfast. I can't wait till he sees this pie. Hopefully he eats it. He never has my tea and it always upsets me. So hopefully he'll eat my pie. All right, Ratatouille, fetch the ingredients for the pie. Go, go, go. Let's see how well Ratatouille fetched the ingredients. Ooh, I don't think you can read it, but it says 15. There you go. You fetched them pretty good. Great job, Ratatouille. You fetched the salt, cinnamon, cornstarch, apples and sugar. But Ratatouille, you forgot to peel and core the apples. Ah! I'll just do it with magic. Well, I hope I cut these right. I wish Yes was here. She's one of the other half elves in our groups, except she's a rogue. So she's super sneaky and great with knives and really good with directions. And she would have been able to cut these perfectly. Why isn't she here right now to help me? Ugh. I think I will try Firebolt to heat these puppies up. Oh, look, my Firebolt worked. <laughs> hey, Luke, I think it's time for me to strain the tea. Oh, look, you cut some cornstarch on you. Oh, poor baby, poor baby. Do you want some tea? Yes. Ah, oh, a perfect cup of numb light tea. You never know what you're gonna get. Today, it's delayed fireball tea. Because sometimes Numlay uses the word tea, when actually it's something else. All right, Luke, you want to try it? Yes. Oh, nothing beats a good cup of tea. Now, before I drink it, sometimes when I drink my tea, I get transported to other places, or I become invisible, or my arms and legs get longer. And it happens to the other people in my group, too, when they drink my tea. So we'll see what happens this time, since it's not 
Really, T, maybe nothing will happen. Mmm! This is spicy goodness! <laughs> T, I love! The recipe did call for two pre-made puff pie crusts. I don't think this is puff. See, this is why I made yes. She helps me from not making these horrible mistakes. But anyway, I gotta take one of these pie crusts, put it in here, and then I'm gonna use chill touch to make it cold. Right, Luke? Yes. Chill touch. Now time to do the berry part of the recipe. Ugh, that one's got mold. Gross. Luke, did you do that? Yes. But first, let's have another sip of refreshing tea, everyone. Do you want some? Is the question I've asked every single person we've met on our adventures. Oh, look, Luke. My chill touched worked. <laughs> now it's time to add everything into the pie and put the other pie crust on top. Ooh, this is a fun place to be sent to. Let's see how well assembling this pie is gonna go. Fourteen. That's not bad. Since this pie is made for my dear, dear, dear halfling friend Cormac, I put in his title, Champion of Greenness, when he almost died and has a really sexy scar from. Now for the very special ingredient. Luke, put in the special ingredient. <laughs> the secret ingredient, my favorite, it's gummy bears. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to put sugar on top! Time to use shocking grasp on this oven to cook Cormac's pie! <laughs> I have definitely critically failed. Some of the pie crust still fell off the pie and is at the bottom of the oven and is burning. <laughs> at least I have tea. <laughs> So now I gotta take the pie out for a little bit and wait for the oven to cool and then, and then clean it. <laughs> While my shocking grasp has restarted the oven and is cooking Cormac's very special pie. It's a very special pie, isn't it, Luke? No, absolutely not. Luke and me would like to tell you a little bit about our group. Here you go. We're a ragtag group of adventurers. There's me, Numline, the sorceress. Suck it, wizards and druids. We have two of those in our group. And they have a little bit of a weird relationship going on, don't they, Luke? Just a little bit of a weird relationship. Then there's Yes, who I've already talked about. She's one of our rogues. Yes, we have two rogues, her and Cormac. Both rogues, we have one of my favorite people who birthed Luke into the world, Oasis. He's a very sweet gnome who's a bard, and he wrote a song about me peeing. Luke is actually his son. How sweet. We're such a happy family. And then, of course, 
there is Leatherback, who's a great big barbarian orc. Half orc, sorry, half orc. He's a little smelly, but he's gotten our group out of a bunch of jams. Without him, we're kind of useless. Actually, yeah, yeah, we're kind of useless without him and the druid. Maybe I shouldn't tell the druid to suck it. Whatever, I'm a sorceress. My magic is natural, bitches. I am from dragon magic, by the way. That's pretty sure why my hair is blue. I was an orphan, so I don't really know. I grew up on a cabbage farm. It was horrible. That's where they sent me for foster care. And I think that's everyone in the group. Yeah, that's everybody. Isn't it Luke? Luke! Can't you get rid of the champion of greenness on top of the pie? Was that your secret ingredient? He's actually the champion of nowhere? <laughs> okay, Luke, let's see if Cormac deserves a piece of this pie. Since it doesn't have his name on it anymore, he is the champion of nowhere. Aw, oh, man of 15? What do you think, Luke? Should we give him a piece? Should we listen to the dice? I just realized I forgot to put milk in the recipe. Oops. Maybe I should cut myself off from tea. Never. Now Ratatouille, before we can eat the pie, we need to make whipped cream. I know, you like good milk, don't you? You like milk. Because whipped cream is essentially milk. You do do. Crick failed cutting this pie. But I'm sure it tasted yummy. What do you think, Luke? Oh, you're gonna let me have a piece? Mm. I bet Cormac would have loved this pie. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You want some too, Ratatouille? Now Luke has a very important message for you all. So pay attention. Be sure to like and subscribe. Or else. See you next time! Ooh, it's just the cutest baby in the world. Yes you are. Yes you are. Mommy saved you from that deep, dark, scary cave where there were dragons and kobolds. Mommy saved you. Yes, she did. Yes.